I suppose I'm taking the role of being an advocate for uh, not only the 5,000 taxi drivers and operators that we work with at Beck, but the 10,000 plus taxi operators that uh, live in the city of Toronto. And I think if I was coming to you, you know, with sort of a headline, 5,000 small local businesses being threatened by a multi-billion dollar corporation that is operating illegally in Toronto, without bringing in the taxi um, piece, it would be pretty shocking. That would be a shocking thing to hear. Um, but that's exactly what's happening. Um, we're seeing that, uh, you know, unfortunately, and this is, this, is, this is what I'm seeing, that politics are trumping people. You know, we, we don't own taxis. And so that's, that's the interesting part about our relationship and something that a lot of people don't know. They see these orange and green cabs and believe that we own them. But the reality is we're doing just what Uber does. The, the debate is being framed as a battle between Uber versus taxi. Mm -hmm. When the reality is it's Uber versus government. And I don't know how many battles there have been so far, and I, I don't know how many more battles we'll see, but Uber is beating City Hall in Toronto. I just, you know, knowing these individuals, like I said, my father, my grandfathers, but the thousands of drivers we work with, you know, Lincoln, Abdul, Fitz, these, these are real people. They're, they're, I think, being treated more of an extension of the wheel. You know, my concern is that City Hall is more enamored with Uber and this, what it could be, and not thinking about the people who are doing the work and the safety of the citizens in our city.